Fermi Surface Tutorial. Create a simulation, by navigating to the Job Designer page. Then, inside the Materials tab, choose Copper as the main simulation material, by selecting it in the list. Then, open the Workflow tab, and choose the Band Structure plus Density of States workflow by selecting it in the list. After that, navigate to Compute tab, and set Compute Configuration. Here, we use one node with four cores. Then, set the name for the job. Here, we call it, Copper Fermi Surface Calculation. Next, save the job. It can then be selected and submitted to the Compute Queue, for execution. The status of the calculation will change from pre-submitted to submitted, and then to active. Please wait, until the job has finished running. When the job is finished, open the right-hand sidebar, and then open an instance of the web terminal. On the command line, navigate to the simulation working directory on the relevant cluster, where the simulation files are located. Once in the correct folder, open the fs.in file in your favorite command-based text editor, to inspect its contents. Then, load Quantum Espresso as a module, to add it to the environment, via the module load command. Run the fs.x quantum espresso executable on the aforementioned fs.in input file, and wait for execution to finish. At the end of execution, a new file with the bxsf extension will hence be generated inside the current working directory. This file can now be used to visualize the Fermi surface of copper, based on the information that it contains. Now close the current web terminal session. Then, open a new remote desktop session, via the right-hand sidebar of the main web interface of our platform. Open the Applications menu, located at the top of the remote desktop interface. Here, navigate to the x Analysis and Visualization Software option, and open it. Click on File. Then, Open Structure. And finally the Open BXSF option. Then, navigate to the simulation working directory on the relevant cluster, where the simulation files are located. Once in the correct folder, double-click to open the relevant BXSF output file, containing the Fermi surface data for our copper simulation. Accept the default value for the Fermi energy. Then, select the appropriate bands for drawing the Fermi surface. The graphic visualization for the Fermi surface of copper will thus appear, within the main interface of X-Chrysden. This visualization can be freely inspected by the user, via, for instance, the available graphic appearance options included on the left-hand sidebar of the X-Chrysden interface. This completes the present tutorial.